It's interesting too that you know you've came from New York. We've talked about Angela Yu. She owns Grand Cathedral Cigar Lounge. Yes. She's awesome. She's been on the show too. Yes. You know she's from California, right? You're yes. from New York. A lot of people say, "Stop people from moving here." You know, we <laughs> Tampa's full, Florida's full. But if you don't have creative people from different places moving here. We don't have Sterling Cigar Lounge. We don't have Grand Cathedral. That's we don't correct. have these incredible places that people go to and enjoy. Yes, uh, even Angela, she's a go-getter. Everything she does, she's a hustler like we are from New York. They have the same principles in mind when they're when they're doing something. And I think she brought that to the forefront as well with Cathedral Cigars. It's a gorgeous place to go and incredible visit as well. Incredible, idea. incredible. So unique, so yes. just cool. You yes. walk in, it's an amazing place to be. Yes, sir. You know, and you wouldn't get that maybe with someone that's from here necessarily. Maybe they're just not thinking about something like that. You need that outside, you need those outside voices. As much as they're frustrating when they pull in front of you in traffic with yes. the California license yes. plate, <laughs> the New York license plate, it's very necessary. You're a part of the revitalization of Cigar City in a lot of ways. Thank you. Thank you, you very really much. Are. And what's happening with Daryl Shaw and Gasworks, that's all well and great. But what happens when they take a trip down 7th? You know, they're, you're, you're going to need spots along the way that are revitalized and new. Correct. And what's this new place? What's that Correct. Place? Yes, and Mr. Daryl Shaw, he's very instrumental and bringing uh, such beautiful projects into Ybor City. And uh, he's helping every business out here to make the growth, uh, the proper growth, so everybody can have a flourishing business. We're, we're very fortunate to have him here. Oh, 100%. We're fortunate to have you guys too. And we're also fortunate to have, you know, the people that own um, Ybor Soul, right? To, yes. For them to come in Correct. and envision a Korean restaurant on 7th Avenue and a cigar lounge. Like, what a what an interesting in, vision. In, incredible, incredible vision. Uh, and we and, and it's popular. Yes. And we're lucky we have good tenants. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you a quick story, Garrett. So when she wanted to come down and uh, she wanted to lease the space out from us after she saw us, we were open before she was. She actually reached out to me to ask me what she should name the place. She thought that I had some great ideas and how I did my place and how we named it. And I told her, well, you know what? I said, it's going to be Korean. We're in Ebor, And Ebor soul, almost like soul food and soul Korea. I thought it went together. I thought it was a catchy type of a name. And she loved it. And we went with it. That's Ebor so soul. I love it. If you enjoyed this clip, click here for the full episode. And make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.